Uh, what just happened? Are you the manager of this establishment? This is a public park lady. Humph. Wait, are those Martin's potato rolls? Obviously, yes. They just hit me in the head at rocket speed from outer space. I hate it when that happens. I just hate Martin's potato rolls. Such nerve. It sounds like you need to be educated on the power of Martin's potato rolls. What are you doing? Don't worry. I am an expert. Martin's potato rolls are highly delectable and generic buns for the nicest dinners. Yes, they're reserved only for our nicest dinners. <laughs> According to the Martin's Potato Rolls official website, their rolls are famous across the country. That's a big deal, especially since half of the population lives in the US. One reason why Martin's Potato Rolls are so popular is that you can eat them in a lot of different ways and with a lot of different stuff. You can eat them with hot dogs, mini sandwiches, burgers, salad, mayonnaise, salsa, peanut butter, toilet paper, and my personal favorite, BLTs. But although you might have had these rolls at some points, has anyone ever wanted to know about the history? No! Well, I'm glad you asked. It all started in 1955 with a potato and a vision. Founded by Lloyd and Louise Martin, they began baking potato bread and rolls in a one-car garage, which they had converted into a small bakery. During that first time period, they would drive to the farmer's market every weekend in a 54 Dodge Coronet in order to sell their potato products. The Martins would expand their family business into a restaurant slash bakery in 1958. Another take on the story is that a TikToker called Dr. Yu who lives with cats in his parents' basement invented them in the year 2020. But those stories are as likely to be true as aliens are. Very likely. Well anyway, back to the real story. The name of their restaurant slash bakery was Martin's Famous Pastry Shop. Actually, it's Martin's Famous Pastry Shoppy. Anyway, Martin's Famous Pastry Shop, located at 1000 Potato Roll Lane, initially had over 130 items a customer could choose from. 130 items? I knew these people were insane! <laughs> Wait! <sighs> it actually isn't that much. I mean, do the math, dude. If one half is the hypnosis of seven... 45.000452.47.26483.6279 squared by the duplicated quantum space area and time of South Africa divided by the space time not that much in binary code. And besides, it eventually was cut down to nine. Over their almost 70 year history, Martin's Potato Rolls, as of 2022, have two separate locations. Don't get confused, because the two locations have almost identical names, being called Martin's Famous Pastry Shop and Martin's Famous Pastry Shop, Inc. Martin's Famous Pastry Shop is located at 1000 Potato Roll Lane in Pennsylvania and is both their corporate office and bakery, while Martin's Famous Pastry Shop, Inc. is a bakery with no office and is located at 2000 Potato Roll Lane in Georgia. Martin's Potato Rolls as of 2022 are available for sale in New York City, New York, Chicago, Illinois, Nashville, Tennessee, and many more. Although Martin's Potato Rolls have been very active these past years, giving the gift of potato rolls around the world, they haven't stopped making new products like sandwich potato rolls, long potato rolls, dinner potato rolls, party potato rolls, big Marty rolls, and a bunch of other bread stuff. Wait, this just in. Martin's potato rolls apparently sell stuffing? Stuffing? Why do these horrible people think they need to sell stuffing? Humph. What do you mean horrible people? Don't play them with me. You know I'm talking about the truth behind Martin's potato rolls, you smelly, cholerophobic, arachnophobic, stupid dummy. But do we really need to talk about the, you know, controversy? Yes, yes we do. I can finally demonstrate to you why I hate Martin's potato rolls, and why you should too. Because otherwise you would be a bigot. And you're going to listen, you know why? Because it's my turn.
Although that's Marty Pants Kitten over there. My name is Mittens! Ahem! That a naughty kitten acts like Martin's potato rolls are completely innocent and good, while she has purposefully avoided the 2021 controversy, which had put the perfectly good Martin's potato rolls company under fire. Fire! Fire! <laughs> fire! 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 Due to concern from my side of the political aisle, I just can't bear to say what Martin's potato rolls did that put them under fire. They, they, they donated over a hundred thousand dollars to Doug Mastriano in his bid to be the governor of Pennsylvania. Okay, and? What do you mean, and? He's a Republican! Da, da, da. Why should I care? Why should you care? Humph! Obviously, because donating a lot of money to a Republican is the worst thing that anyone could do. Really, though? On November 8th, 2022, the world will end if Doug Mastriano beats Democratic nominee Josh Shapiro in the battle to become the governor of Pennsylvania because Mastriano is anti-rights. What? He's going to take away my rights. Do you even know what specific rights he wants to take away? Just, just let me finish. Humph! Fine. Anywho, after the Philadelphia publication Billy Penn reported that Jim Martin, the executive chairman at Martin's Potato Rolls, donated over $100,000 to Doug Mastriano, restaurants that used Martin's Potato Rolls were concerned about whether or not they should use them anymore due to their unsavory politics. And not a very long time before everyday people reacted to the horrifying donation, Chef expert J. Kenji Wear a Mask Lopez Alt made his social media post urging Shake Shack and Federal Donuts to drop Martin's potato rolls if they don't want to be supporting this stuff, aka conservatism. Others, such as publication Eater and TikToker Dr. Eu, have turned against Martin's potato rolls due to their right wing politics. Dr. Yu had actually communicated with a member of the horrible Martins family via text messages, but has now thankfully rejected them due to their support of Doug Mastriano. That's kind of... sad. Who's talking here? Me! Although Shake Shack ended up keeping Martins as their choice of bread, stating that they are in active conversations with them, the other biggest chain they used Martins, Venro Donuts, stopped using them amid the controversy. You mentioned the publication Billy Penn earlier, which was where the information about the donation first came from. I can't believe all of these anti-Martins people on the internet talking about the controversy are relying on one crummy news source no one has ever heard of. Well, ahem. That one crummy news source, Billy Penn, was the only news source that reported on the donation along with Spotlight Pennsylvania. I happen to be a proud subscriber to both. Another possibility that I thought of, however, is that Martin's potato rolls were boycotted for other reasons unknown to the public, such as opposing interests that wanted to get Martin's potato rolls out of the market because of their deals with other businesses. It was just too much competition. It's very fishy. Anyway, about the hefty donations from Jim Martin and Martin's potato rolls. Hefty donations? Hey, if you want to rely on crummy news sites, then listen to this. According to a Spotlight Pennsylvania article, quote, Democratic gubernatorial candidate Josh Shapiro has raised nearly 18 million in campaign contributions over the past 15 months, more than all nine of his potential Republican opponents combined. <laughs> you're, you're just a conspiracy theorist. I actually use sources more credible than Billy Penn, you Karen. <laughs> you know what, Mittens? I have a source more credible than you could ever imagine. I call it Google Reviews. No! Here is the first one. Quote. Never again. 
had zero idea of what type of individuals run this company. I will never purchase Marin's potato. I will never purchase Marin's product and will boycott any corporation utilizing Martin's products. Your credible news source just misspelled Martin's. Tisk tisk tisk. Respect your elders. Okay, lady. Number two. Quote. I will no longer purchase any Martin's products due to the fact that they have funded the campaign of Senator Douglas Mastriano, a far-right QAnon extremist. They funded him $110,000 from the company, along with private donations within the family. I tossed these rolls a few months ago into the garbage. For your information, QAnon is a very broad word for crazy conspiracy theories. Conspiracy theories? That reminds me that I think that the 2020 election was Brandon has not approved of this message. Free speech nowadays. Sheesh. But I think everyone watching should get what I'm not allowed to, but tried to say. <sighs> Thank you, YouTube. Anyway, here you can see how much they believe Marge's potato rolls are evil. And best of all, 28 other people found this review helpful. Number three, quote. I never really liked Martins. Until I found out the owner supports Doug Mastriano, five stars! What delinquent wrote this Google review? Tsk tsk tsk! Hey, I found a review! What do you think you're doing? I am the educator. I went to college after all. Very fancy. I've had enough of you calling yourself an educator. Do you even have a YouTube channel with the word explains in the title? As a matter of fact, I do. Can you just please read this next Google review? Fine. Number four, quote. It has a nice salad bar. <laughs> what kind of review is this? I don't see a salad bar anywhere. At least five people found it helpful, though. Idiots. I've had enough of these Google reviews. I thought Google reviews were a source more credible than you could imagine. What did I say about respecting your elders? Okay. But I'm going to have to insist on taking over my video. No! The quote-unquote boycott of Martin's potato rolls was greatly inflated by the media, which it wasn't even covered very much by. Even though the handful of anti-Martin's potato rolls articles would refer to Doug Mastriano as an extremist, and even go as far as to call the company a potato roll empire, the boycott wasn't as nearly impactful as the language used by the authors writing for those crummy news sites said it was. The way the media talked about Martin's potato rolls and the way they portrayed the outrage people felt about the donations made by Jim Martin would make you think, if you lived under a rock, that 1. Martin's potato rolls are a household name in a massive corporation, 2. That they were very famous in the food critic world, which I seriously doubt, and 3. That people in restaurants all over the United States are planning to and currently boycotting Martin's potato rolls seriously hurting the company. All three are false. And ironically, although all of the talk about boycotting Martins was going to theoretically lead to an actual boycott of the company, I think Martins potato rolls are more popular than ever, thanks to all of the media attention. Because Martins wasn't really boycotted, all of the Karens on the internet just gave Martins potato rolls a lot of coverage. The boycott also seemed to make potato roll recipes trend on YouTube about a year ago, because people were looking for alternatives and in the end, spark even more purchases of Martin's potato rolls and support the company even further into the future, even from people like this. Martin's potato rolls, well, they're... Get out of here. Well, I think that we can all agree that Martin's potato rolls are innocent. You've won this time, Mittens, but I will be back. The taste is golden. Martin. The taste is golden. Martin's potato bread. Getting the family together. Hanging with friends at the grill. Serving the great taste of Martin. Eat my pizza.